This is a demonstration of the Forest Manufacturing Company Model 648P Automatic Cut and Roll Machine. P stands for power in this case. We load a roll of metal jacking material, anything from 010 stainless up to uh, 016, 022, and with some modifications up into the 030 range, uh, aluminum, um, sometimes stainless even that heavy. Load the roll, the machine pulls it through, flattens it, pays it out to length, cuts it off, feeds it into a rolling head, rolls it, spits it out. You have both manual and automatic control of the machine. In the manual mode, which is also used for loading, you can back up and advance the material. You can manually control the shear. And you can manually control the rollers if you want to use the machine as just a manually fed powered roller. Then of course we have the fully automatic mode. In automatic mode we have a counter. Count the number of pieces you want to make. You preset the length of the cut pieces by the physical distance of the roll former from the blade. So you can move this back and forth, lock it in, and that's what determines the cut length. There's a little trip switch in here. So the metal pays out until it, until it hits the trip switch, then it starts to cut and roll cycle. This is a very reliable way to measure the cut length. The other approach, of course, would be to measure the number of revolutions of the flattening rollers, but they tend to slip and you don't get as accurate a measurement. Can't argue with a physical length measurement. But now I'll zoom in, give you a close up of the machine throwing out a few rolls. Set an auto mode, set the piece part, clear the count, press start. The machine can be operated by a single operator, loads the material, starts the cut process, and then catches the pieces as they come off and put them into a box. That's the power shear. Sure.